I knew that I was good at maths and science, I really enjoyed that, but I had no clue what I wanted to do going into uni. My physics teacher at the time mentioned that engineering might be a good fit for me, and I thought, why not? I did do a stint with the Engineering Link group back in high school, and they took us to China. So we actually got to experience what some engineering might look like overseas, and I thought, this is great. I want to travel, I want to earn good money, and I want to use my maths and science, so why not do it with engineering? So I started engineering in 2014, and the first year is generic. So you try a little bit of everything, electrical, civil, chemical, mechanical. For me, civil was where it was at, and now I work as a structural engineer. A lot of people ask me, what does a civil or structural engineer do at Energy Queensland? Isn't, isn't that an electrical company? And they're right, um, but civil engineers have a role in every part of our society. And I think it's funny that although I am a civil engineer, I don't feel like I'm stuck in a box um, with my career. I work with people all across the industry, whether that's other engineers, scientists, project managers, clients from council, the community. We work so broadly. I feel like it's such a diverse career path. At the moment, one of our biggest challenges is actually sustainable power. And um, you see all these electric vehicles coming out and solar panels and how do we, how do we incorporate this into our lives now? Um, so that's one of our biggest challenges working at Energy Queensland and also as a structural engineer is finding the time, the money, and the resources to construct the, the power infrastructure that we need to support our community's development um, into that zero carbon target that we're all reaching. We've actually got solar farms that we're building out in remote communities. So if it works out there, that's something we'll consider in the bigger cities and towns. We're also constructing wind farms. We're moving towards hydrogen. There's so many exciting opportunities at the moment and there's so much work to be done. So we need more engineers. <laughs>